Alright guys, uh, today I got a kind of an exciting video here. This is on my uh, Droid Razor Max and I guess on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, not sure which, uh, Motorola or Verizon, whichever one, accidentally pushed out an uh, OTA update for this thing. So that's over the air update and some people accepted it and have pulled it and now it's on the internet. So this OTA update now takes the Droid Razor Max, which is on Ice Cream Sandwich, to Jelly Bean 4.1.2, which is really exciting. And uh, I want to show you guys how to install that manually since right now they pulled the update and nobody else is getting it. But if you download the file, you can get it. So a couple things I want to go over before we install. Um, one, you want to make sure that you are on, in about phone here, you are on system version 6.16.211.xt912 Verizon. That's your system version. Here you go. Bring it up here so you can see it. Sorry about the red there in the client camera. And it is a Droid Razor Max, obviously. Android version 4.0.4. .4. And you have your build date down here at the bottom. So, we want to make sure that is what we are running on our system. If you have already rooted your device and done safe strap or anything like that on your Droid Razor, you want to go ahead and use a utility called RSD Lite and AP Fast Boot it back to stock, which will wipe everything off the phone and you'll be running stock again because you have to be on stock to tape this update. You can also use a utility called Razor. Razor Utility, it's uh, 1.82 is the version of it, and it works quite well to use AP Fastboot to reflash your system, pre-install, boot image, all that kind of stuff, recovery, and get you back to stock. Uh, great in your directions on how to do that. I'll try to put links to both of those things in my video description down below. All right, guys, a couple more quick things I want to show you guys before you guys go ahead and reboot into recovery. Um, and what that is is go into your app drawer um, Go ahead and make sure that you're on the stock like I said system here But make sure you guys go ahead and root the device right now if you want root on your device um, Because the, right now there's no utility for putting root on there So make sure you have root and then make sure you have the latest uh, update your bin binaries right here um, So make sure you do that um, within the application and then next um, once you have root you can go ahead and go to the Voodoo right here, Voodoo OTA. This is called Voodoo Root Keeper. And what you're going to do is you're going to back up your root. I've already done it. You can see these boxes are checked right here. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to do it twice. So you're going to say root or protect root. Then you're going to hit temp unroot, protect root, and temp unroot, and then um, protect root, restore root. So just do it a couple times back and forth just to make sure it's all functioning correctly. Um, and then leave it, the device rooted, not temp unrooted, leave it rooted. And um, then we can back out of this screen. So you've got your super user app, so you root. You have OTA or Voodoo OTA. This is if you want to have root on the update. If you do not, you don't have to do these steps. Um, then we're going to go into My Files SD card. And I have my stuff in Downloads. And right here you can see the Blur Verizon 6 on an US zip that is the right there that is the update um, right here by my finger so you want to make sure that that is on your SD card like I said before so as long as you have those things your uh, root you have voodoo root keeper and you have that thing at, and it is rooted but it is backed up and protected then we can go ahead and go back and so um, basically here is stock Make sure you have plenty of battery. So we're going to go in here and check um, battery. And as you can see, I have 90% charge, so my battery life is very good. Um, so then what you're going to do is we're going to power it off with the power button here on the side. Hold it down, power off. Also, make sure that um, you have the update zip on your SD card, your micro SD card. Uh, you can also put it, if you don't have an SD card, in your cache partition. So I'm going to go to the, now and I'm going to hold down both volume buttons and power. Sorry you can't see this, but you'll see what mode it gets into. So both volume buttons and power, and it's going to boot to this mode right here. Um, here, I'll try to see if you can see it. 
So it is boot mode selection menu. So if you hit volume up, you will boot normally. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to recovery. Select, make sure it's highlighted like it is right now. And then you're gonna push volume up and it is going to boot the device into recovery mode. So there is your Android guy in his back with the little triangle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the phone and you're gonna hit both volume up and down at the exact same time. And you will go to this screen. Okay, so on this screen it says at the bottom, apply update from cache or apply update from external storage. So like I said, you could put this in cache partition and do it that way. Um, if you have run on your device already, you could throw that update zip into cache and do it that way. Or like I said, if you have an external SD card, you can do it this direction. So to scroll here, use your volume up and down and power to select. Or you can just reboot your device now. So we're going to go down to apply update from external storage and we're going to hit power. Then we're going to scroll down to downloads, which is where I have my update. Power. Then we're going to highlight the blur uh, underscore version dot six dot sixteen dot one I mean dot two one one dot xt nine twelve this is the update zip and we will select it by hitting power so here we go this is it first time for me guys um, this is uh, says install SD card slash download and let's see how this goes it's probably going to take up to 10 minutes to run. I'll probably edit some of this, but I'm um, just going to let you watch for right now. There we go. Finding update, opening update, verifying update package. So it's doing that. You can see a progress bar down here at the bottom. And there we go. Installing update, verifying current system. Now the reason we used uh, uh, Voodoo OTA Root Keeper um, is because this thing will remove root access, but using Voodoo we will restore it. Um, if Voodoo does not restore it correctly, there is a zip file that we can flash to restore it, which I will show you that. But um, let's kind of keep looking here. Updating uh, uh, BP. You can see we're about maybe a third of the way across on that bar. Actually, you probably can't see the rest of the bar, but it's about a third of the way across right now. Now, once you guys do this update, there's no going back to Ice Cream Sandwich. There's only moving forward from here. So um, be prepared for that. This, this We're assuming this is the official OTA update that's going to be out to this device, but we do not know that um, for sure yet. So because of that, and when the official does get released, there might be problems updating from this to the official. Uh, it's hard to say right now, but I'm sure that if you look online, there will be, and maybe even I will show you how to update to the official when they do release the official OTA update. I'll do my best to keep you guys up to speed on that. So we're just in waiting mode here. Um, it does, like I say, it's going to take a while. It looks like it's going very smoothly so far. Um, haven't been any errors. Now, if this does fail for some reason on you, it will not actually do the update. So, you'll be able to reboot the device and everything should go smoothly. Okay, updating LTE. So, it's updating your radios right now. Um, but yeah, like I said, if it, does, if it does fail somewhere along the lines, you'll be able to reboot the device. And it should just be back on Ice Cream Sandwich if it fails anywhere. Um... But the thing about this is right now is you cannot use RSD Lite or that uh, Droid Razor utility to restore Ice Cream Sandwich once you are on Jelly Bean. There is no reverse going backwards in this setup. And because there is not a AP Fast Boot file or FX file, whatever you want to call it, um, or a SBF file for Jelly Bean yet, you kind of got to be careful with this system right now and not do too much to it. I'll probably show you guys how I will show you guys how to install safe strap on this thing um, that is for this which will protect the, the main stock system and let you use flash custom ROMs to the rest of it so you can kind of protect this system right now because there is no AP fast boot file to restore if you mess something up alright removing unneeded files from pre-install 
patching pre-install files so again we are proceeding quite smoothly um, I'm gonna pause here and we'll probably go back to it when it starts to do something else alright guys well it's been patching uh, system files for at least five minutes now um, we're about two-thirds across our progress bar on the bottom and it is taking its sweet time so we're gonna wait here a little longer and see if it finishes up Oh, finally. So you can see it updated a couple more things like unpacking new recovery, new files, updating a bunch of stuff there. And it now says install from SD card complete. So we're going to come up here to the top and right now it's highlighted with uh, reboot system now. And we're going to select the power button. So we are rebooting and this is the full install here. So we should boot up in uh jelly bean uh, i don't think the boot animation is going to change or your obviously your m logo has not changed at all um that whole process was a good 10 minutes for sure um just to run that update maybe even a little longer than that so be very patient with it i'm not patient it was driving me nuts but uh here we go yeah there's your standard boot animation for the droid razor so let's let this thing run I'm gonna let it boot up here also give this thing a good 10 minutes again just to run through this boot animation and let the thing boot up be patient on it give it time it's got to rewrite a bunch of files so let's let that do and I will get it when it boots up here for you all right guys so you can see you can see right now we're going through Android is upgrading so it's optimizing all of our apps so it's going to run through this and then should boot up. So I just wanted to show you that it does do this after you first boot up, after installing this uh, leak. So we'll wait for it to boot. All right, you can see it's starting. It's updating media database, which shouldn't be hardly anything. I've got hardly any media on this thing. Updating cat contacts and finishing boot. Okay, shabam. Here we go. Um, as you can see, this is uh, your phone. I'm going to open this up for us here. Preparing device still here after I unlocked it. <clears throat> now, it only came up with this because I don't have a SIM card in right now. It will not happen to you. It's just because there's no SIM. See up there on the top, no SIM. Once I finish doing hacking and playing with it, I'll put my SIM in there and make it run. So, <clears throat> that was just because there's no sim in there. Don't worry about it. It is not a big deal. Shabam! Alright, so let's check this sucker out. Um, this is your opening screen here. And here we go. Our camera icon has changed, it looks like. Um, let's see here. This is the same exact setup I had for stock. Um... Here we go, this is your applications. They look like they're just updated, a couple of them are updated on here. And here you go, so we still have our super user app, you can see it is still there, and our Voodoo OTA. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into Voodoo and open it up, and you can see it says device rooted, and it's not checked, and root permission granted, and it's also not checked. So we're going to go ahead and hit this button right here that says restore root. And so it says now device is rooted. And it says root permission granted. It says denied. So we're going to go back to super user. And we're going to try to update our sub binaries. So update. And there you go, you can see in the bottom it granted super user permission. So we still have root access on this. We're going to go back to Voodoo. And now it does say root permission granted. Um, so everything is functioning. We have root and we're going to go back up here to, now you can see that is different. Um, and then about phone, 
and here we go so Android version 4.1.2 which is jelly bean I'm gonna click on this thing and show you the jelly and then we're gonna click on this sucker I think and show you the beans and you can flick them away and play with them or whatever and we can go back so this is system version 98.72.8.xt912 Verizon ENUS this is specifically for the Droid Razor Max and uh, not GMS devices only Verizon version so that is CDMA and there you go so you are running Jelly Bean on your Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max you have root access and you have all of the new features of Jelly Bean along with this which let's show you here if I can find it panoramic mode and all that good stuff I think it's maybe this one here it is so we have single shot panorama multi shot so if you click on multi shot Oh, it doesn't change. I th I thought this should have, um, huh, multi shot. That's interesting. I thought it was gonna have uh, this other feature in here. I may have to look some more, but it does have multi shot panoramic mode and single shot. Not sure how multi shot functions. It's too hard to show you guys in the lighting I'm in. But you should have your Google now. Let's see our drop downs again here. Um, you have this settings button right there, which gets you into these. So that's how that is set up. It very much looks exactly like uh, ice cream sandwich in this aspect of it. Although this is very, very, very smooth and fast. Um, you can kind of see transitions flying in and out. We got widgets up here. These are all your ice cream sandwich widgets. And you can see down here you have play my library widget, play recommendations widget, um, your YouTube, different, different widgets in this sucker. Uh, which is pretty nice very very fast like I said you do have Google Chrome in here um, and all your other basic blur Verizon applications um, so that is it guys that's how you update uh, that is basically the function of it that's how you do it and we keep root access on your device uh, stay tuned check out the rest of my channel I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, uh, how to install safe strap on this because there is a new version of straight safe strap for this device so I will show you guys how to do that in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching this. I appreciate uh, checking me out. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will catch you guys next time. Thanks.